Hi, I'm David Lammy, the Member of Parliament for Tottenham, and Joe has kindly asked me to send you this Christmas message. I want to start by wishing you a Merry Christmas. This is a time to celebrate family, common bonds and coming together. But in nearly 20 years of politics, I've never seen our country more split apart. From Devon to Dundee, we've forgotten what makes this country the United Kingdom. We're telling different stories about our history and have different visions for our future. While we waste years debating the European Union, our own country is being left to rust. Toxic rhetoric from politicians has filtered down to our streets. The number of hate crimes rose to nearly 100,000 last year. Food banks will hand out 1.5 million meals this month and changes to the welfare system mean that the cupboards of the poorest families are empty. And this winter, more than 24,000 rough sleepers will be left out in the cold. In 2018, our country was rocked by the Windrush scandal. The Home Office wrongly deported or detained at least 164 British citizens. People like my parents, who came to this country from 1948 onwards and gave so much but took so little. Stripped of all their rights, deported, detained, the government stopped its own citizens from living their lives. This scandal forgot the great story of the 20th century. The huge strides that the world made towards freedom for all peoples. The refusal to accept being bound by your own identity. Before, if you're a woman, your life was not determined by what you could give, but who you married. If you were gay, you had to live in secret and could be in prison simply for falling in love. If you were disabled, you were ridiculed, cast out and denied the chance to work. And if you were an ethnic minority, you were subjugated, oppressed and at worst enslaved. The brave sacrifice of a few great leaders inspired change. Emily Wilding Davison threw herself in front of the King's horse to demand women's right to vote. Mahatma Gandhi stood up to colonial Britain and demanded his people could determine their own path. Harvey Milk gave up his life so that gay men and women could have pride in who they were. And Martin Luther King spoke for mankind when he said that every man and woman should be judged by the content of their character, not the colour of their skin. Leaders ignited the flame, but revolution was only made possible by everyday people coming together. The silent majority who took to the streets, who wrote letters, who campaigned and stood up to be counted. Together we can do anything. I have hope this Christmas because our young people remember what those brave activists knew. Prejudice has no place in our society. Wealth must be shared with those who need it. We only achieve greatness when we are open, not closed. With a deep sense of what is right, the next generation must inspire our country to come back together. Remind us that together we can be anything. Together we can demand the right to be who we want to be. Shape history, bend it towards justice and change the world.